Hi guys and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be building these wardrobes. Now, fairly straightforward ones, these are from BMQ, these sliding doors, um, not massively expensive, I think they're about 120 quid for the tracks and the doors and all that, so it's not too bad. But with most of these things, they don't fit the opening, so you're going to see me make a frame around them, as you can see here. Make a frame to get them to all fit properly, and then we're going to put a couple of hanging rails at the divide and all that inside. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're going to start off with by measuring our divide to the right length. Now, I use the laser level for this because I find that it gives you a really, really accurate measurement. And then, using my little profile gauge, we're going to mark out from around the bottom of the skirting boards. We don't have to cut them out. And simply just cut these to shape. Using my uh, new track saw there, I was really fed up with the Festool having 110 and having to lug the transformer around so I treated myself. So these here are going to be the um, the supports for the shelf for the shelf either side, but then also it's going to be to take the um, the hanging rail. If you've seen in my previous video on fitting wardrobes, I like to drill a 28 mil hole to receive the 25 mil hanging rail. And here we're just going to put a 45 on the front just to make them look a little bit nicer, um, rather than just square blocks of wood in there. You know, I find it just a uh, Dresses it up a little bit. Okay, now we can start putting everything together. So screws and glues on these. This is going to be the left hand divide or right hand, whatever way you're looking at it. Left hand if you're looking at it from the outside. Okay, then on with the first bracket, bracket, shelf support, I don't know what you'd call them. And then on with the other side now, we can start putting our shelf on. Um, I wanted a really nice tight fit here, but as you can see in a second, might have uh, over measured a little bit. But hey ho, with the... Uh, power of edit in this was sorted out really really quickly there we go <laughs> still a nice snug fit but that's what we like now we can find the middle for the divide uh, I think we had 820 mil in this instance. Just extending them lines to the back, make it a little bit easier for when we put the divide in. Now we can start drilling some holes. Now you notice here that I'm drilling from the underneath and that's on purpose. It's because you always get a tiny bit of breakout. And um, I like to do the breakout on the up, on the top side because then when I counter sink them them holes afterwards, it removes any of that burr, just leaving no fuzzy bits to contend with or anything. Okay, so now we've got that in place, we can put the. Uh, the other supports in even though you don't really need supports here but i just wanted to keep it all looking the same and matching um just think it looks a bit neater if you do that plus it is better for having the hanging row in i don't really like them little roses that you can get for the outside i think they look a bit cheaper and nasty i think that looks a bit nicer you might disagree with me but there you go so now we're going on with um the base plate that's going to receive the bottom runner or the bottom track i should say um, reason for doing it on this is because that was quite a bit out of level so putting this bottom strip down just meant that I could level it all up beforehand get it nice and level 
Uh, I think it was about 10 mil out of level over 1500, so it was quite bad. I actually don't show it on the video, but I actually doubled this up as well because it's going to be taking carpet either side of this. So I just wanted a really nice positive stop for the carpet to go up to. And get some packers in the middle. I actually did, um, I then halved it again on either side or did quarters and put packers in just because of the weight of the doors going on it. I wanted a real sh um, positive strong point for them to sit down on. I didn't want it bowing over time. Okay, so here we're gonna um, we're just packing out for the outside. So my doors are 1500 in their close position, uh, and my opening was 1630, I believe it was. Yeah, 1630. So I just had to make the openings a little bit smaller, as I stated in the intro to this video. Um, so two bits of this come to 75 mil, and then I put a bit of six mil on the top of that as well which gave us 8 mil, which is 160 overall, which took up the, the space that was required. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Having a little sing along there. Sometimes I forget that I'm on camera. <laughs> okay, and then the, the, the main piece on top of this. Now, th these ain't really there for anything other than packing. They're not going to be doing anything. Um, so this was probably a little bit overkill, but... belt and braces and all that so yeah like I said the two of these come to about 75 mil ish somewhere around there and then uh, a bit of 6 mil MDF on the top of that I'm putting in my headpiece and you can probably just about see that I've got some 6 mil packing above the top of that to bring it down to its distance as well because um, I think the height of them doors is 2260 just needed to get it to that measurement after my two bits of 18 mil at the bottom. Okay, and there's that six mil MDF that I was telling you about. Not only does this serve as packing, but it also gives um, somewhere nicer to apply paint to because that's going to actually be the finished surface so yeah like i said you, it'll be easier to paint as well rather than onto that timber because you're never going to get that to look good so putting an mdf skin around it just means that it'll look a lot nicer give it a lot better finish and that coupled with doing the pins on it um just means there won't be as much making good to do so on the face here we're going to be doing 18 mil mdf i actually um Added the insides as well, but I didn't get that on video because it was quite hard to film. But yeah, so I've essentially made up a U section around all of this just so that you're never going to see any horrible bits inside there. And doing the same with the top as well. It's all just dressing this up, really. This isn't really going to be adding anything structural to it, it just makes it look a bit nicer and gives you somewhere nicer to decorate. And then the same with the bottom, just so that you don't see that end grain when you're looking at the end grain of the MDF when you're looking at it. You've got nice, um, the finish on the MDF exposed. Okay, we're on the home straight now, just getting the doors in place. So this is the bottom runner. I'm going to do a separate video on how to actually do these doors, uh, just like a short video. But um, essentially, you just set that bottom rail 27 mil in. And then the top rail, that one just goes flush. Yeah. 
So the top rail doesn't actually do much other than keeping the doors in their upright position. So the doors all they bear off the bottom of the door rather than the top of the door on these. Um, yeah, so the, the top rail doesn't actually do a great deal to be honest. As you can see here, it just sort of slots in and stops them falling forwards and backwards. And then adjust these up. It took me a while to figure this out. The instructions that come with these are absolutely useless. So uh, it was a little bit trial and error to figure it out, but you actually need to unscrew them to get them to go down, if that makes sense. And uh, I could have probably made my life a little bit easier with using a uh, hand screwdriver rather than the drill, but I think by this point we've all established that I'm lazy and I don't like getting loads of tools out. <laughs> So this really is it, final door going on now. Just adjust that up into its position. Which adjusting these doors, by the way, is really, really easy. guys that's uh, the end of that one i think that come out really really well i think them doors are actually really good quality for what i paid for them so they're a 1500 wide set by a 2 260 tall uh, and then they do a 1200 set and an 1800 set as well and I, I think i said earlier in the video as well they're about 125 quid um for everything you need in that kit so that's pretty good they uh, the quality of the stuff like the nylon wheels and all that feel pretty good quality so i, I don't think there'll be any issue with that um quite happy with the way that i cladded that all out in the mdf as well i think it's just going to make it nice and simple for them to paint it um nice and simple on the inside i think they're gonna go to ikea and buy themselves some drawer units just to put in the bottom there um but yeah that's about it really i want to thank you guys for watching along on this one if you want to see any more of this kind of stuff hit that subscribe button ding that bell you'll be up to date with all of my videos i'm going to leave it there thanks for watching see you on the next one